The banging of drums welcomes worshippers to New Delhi's 500-year-old Hanuman Temple, along with a man dressed as the temple's namesake, Hinduism's much-loved monkey god, Hanuman. While priests offer prayers, the ancient rituals include some new guidelines like temperature checks, sanitation tunnels, masks and limited numbers of people to ensure social distancing. The opening of religious places is being welcomed in a country where 80% of people say religion is very important to them. God is the supreme being and he is going to make everything okay. There is no greater doctor than God. He is the answer to all the sadness in the world. There are different doctors for every ailment, but God is supreme and his answer to all sorrows. Malls and restaurants also reopened with the same restrictions as temples. And while some shop owners welcomed the business activity, others were apprehensive. I think it should delay because like we start the March and that time Corona was just starting in India and we were in the lockdown April, May full and Corona was just playing with us and end of May we see the numbers, it's not like uh, my uh, guess and it starts to jump. This is one of Delhi's most popular malls which should have opened at midday local time but most of the shops are still closed and there are very few customers. Some states including Maharashtra which is worst hit by the coronavirus and Indian administered Kashmir have decided to keep such establishments shut because of the rising number of cases. So at least we know, so we know the shape of the... Health experts say while medical facilities have been improved, the government is still under-reporting the number of cases and deaths. Testing needs to go up, uh, deaths need to be reported accurately, and we need these uh, studies which we call serological surveys, which just tell us how many people have already been exposed to the virus, and that has not happened even though we're well into the epidemic. An epidemic which government leaders say people must learn to live with because the cost of the lockdown, with 120 million people jobless, is too high to pay. Elizabeth Puranam, Al Jazeera, New Delhi.